Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I have had such a long history with K-pop during its golden age back when Big Bang, 21, SNSD, and SHINee were the top bands. I mean, for me at least. But my all-time favorite is Big Bang and 21. Even though 21 has disbanded, I still cherish all their songs and the memories that came with it. I know I am so late with the BTS craze, obviously it's all over the place, but that's because I stand 21 and Big Bang too much to even dive into other groups, but now I have seen the light and I really do like their music. My favorite from them is V and J-Hope. They really have great vocals and I like how deep and powerful their voices are. And as you can see, we will be focusing on V for this video with one of his looks from the Fake Love music video. I really love this outfit because it's all black and he wears a harness which I would literally wear in a heartbeat. I feel like I actually worn something like this before. It's just so cool looking and the black and white contrast just works so well. And I heard it's actually his favorite color so that's kind of cool. Let me stop blabbering and let's get on with the video. I actually lost the footage for the factory paint removal but I am using a Dexter Charming doll for V's base. I already prepped and primed the head with Mr. Super Clear, so now we can start by sketching out the main features with watercolor pencils. And I do have all of the materials down below. V actually has one mono eyelid and also one double eyelid, which makes him really cute and unique. And I started noticing it in interviews and in music videos and some photo shoots. And so I decided to add that to this doll. Of course, this will be a stylized take on V's face since the head mold is an Ever After High doll which makes the proportions more exaggerated than a normal scale Ken doll or something. His lips was pretty natural looking, but they did give him some color, so I also kept it natural with pastels and pencils, but I just made it a lot more rosier. I really wanted his eyebrows to look feathery and natural looking, so I made sure to maintain each strand in there too. To add more dimension and bring life to his face, I used pastels to create the shadows and also the contouring. He was also wearing great contact lenses for this look, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the overall look that he had in the music video. I actually like how they maintain a natural and fresh face for this look, since everything is black and his face really pops out. K-pop pretty much helped me lose weight when I was in high school, and I remember dance covers were so popular, I wanted to upload my own, but I was too self-conscious about my weight. So I decided to just learn the dances first, before filming, and hey, you know what? It was such a good workout, and it helped me lose weight. To bring more light to his eyes, I painted his sclera with white acrylic paint and I added the cash lights too. You guys should definitely sound off in the comments down below who is your favorite K-pop band or from BTS, what is your favorite song? Mine are Let Go, Mic Drop, Blood, Sweat and Tears, of course, Fake Love. The most recent one is Idol featuring Chanli, Nicki Minaj. It's like the perfect combo. I love it so much. And to finish it off, I gave his lips a little bit of shine since it looks like they gave him some gloss for his look. 
And now we are done with his face. I ended up giving him an anime twist on his look and I really like it. I think my favorite is his eyes and the eyelids for sure. It just makes him a lot more unique than anything that I've done before. And now we can move on to the clothes. So Ripley's Believe It or Not, I actually did sew his entire garment from scratch by myself. You're probably saying, yeah, it looks like it too. But I'm actually really proud of this look. Took me a few tries, but I managed to get the fit that I wanted. He was wearing this black long sleeve shirt that looked like it had oversized sleeves, like it looked puffed and also longer. And also for the pants, it looked like they gave him hair and pants that had a really really low crotch. I actually might have to duplicate this outfit for a mini me doll or something. I would literally wear this. Like, if not in real life, at least like some doll could. <laughs> For the harness, I took this thick pleather material and I cut it in strips. And I also did a variety of wide and narrow strips for the harness. Then I got these gauge jump rings from Hobby Lobby in two different sizes to string the harness together. I wrapped another doll with tape to protect the body and so I can create a guideline for it too. Then I started putting the harness together. I lightly hot glued it to the tape so it's easy to remove when all of the leathers are super glued together. For the main jump ring, I glued two strips to it which will connect the choker part to his body harness. I then added jump rings to each end as well, because that's what he had. <laughs> I added one more strip for the back to act as a spine which will put the entire harness together and this will also make it easier for us to remove the entire body harness. I then added smaller pieces of leather just to make it look cleaner and I also added an overlapped leather on top of it. Going back to the choker part, I added another leather across the neck which then I glued another ring to it which then I weaved another narrow strip of leather in. Then I folded the main entire leather to overlap the choker part. Add two more rings in the center, then I cut the leather in an angle. For his bracelets, I pretty much do the same exact thing. I took one of the wider leather and glued snaps to it so that it's easily removable. Then I used a small jump ring and I added two strips of leather to it, then glued it to the wide leather. To add more details, I painted the grommets of the harness in gunmetal silver. And now we're done with the body harness and also the bracelets. For his shoes, it looked like he was wearing Chelsea boots, but I could be wrong, it was very unclear since it's so dark and everything was pitch black with his outfit, but this is very close to what he wore because it also has some buckles that I've seen. The only difference is the toe box shape, like this one is a lot rounder and I think he was wearing a pointier shoe, so I will modify this with epoxy sculpt. To blend it better, I sculpted the soles to match the original shoe. Music 
After a day of drying, I paint the entire boot with matte black acrylic paint. I then also painted the buckles silver. Now, I don't think he had red soles, but I wanted to add it anyway because if you guys know me, I love red bottoms, very Louboutins, and also because it reminds me of the Chocobros from Final Fantasy XV, and that is a good look. Like honestly, you know what, V looks like he belongs in that group. Yeah, you know what, he does. It just looks so cool and satisfying in the end just to see everything so glossy and shiny and red. For more accessories, he was wearing one chain earring in his left ear, so I made this using a needle and some recycled necklaces that I had laying around. Moving on to his hair, I made these wefts using a mixture of black and some brown. I decided to make him a wig so it's easier to change his hair in the future if I want to. I always start gluing the wefts starting from the perimeter. His hairstyle is very classic. It's like a classic Asian mullet. It's very very popular in the early 2000s in terms of the old Jang scene and even in the 90s. Business in the front and party in the back. Then after that, I take a brow razor to feather the hair and give it some texture. I actually kind of wish that he had a different color hair here, like I've seen him rock blondes, pinks, and mints, and I think like a white hair or something would look good with the outfit, but that might look a little too Tokyo Ghoul maybe, so I do appreciate the toned down natural hair color for this look. After the cut, we could finally style it. And for styling, I just used water to style his fringe and the overall hair. Yarn really holds its shape with just water. You don't need spray, you don't need gel, you don't need anything but water. And it literally will stay, and that's kind of why I like it. For the back, they had it styled curly and wavy, so I just take my heated metallic chopstick and tweezers to create the small curls which will be brushed out in the end. And yes, like I said, I am curling his hair with tweezers. These types are called the X tweezers or crossover tweezers and they just help create the small tiny curls because they actually hold the hair and I just twist it and I just heat it up with my hair straightener to make it a little hotter but always be careful with burning your fingers because it gets really hot. <laughs> now I'm just gonna do some final touch-ups to make sure everything is perfect. 